Hi, and welcome to Account Schedule Overview in Dynamic Snap. Account schedules are one of the main tools that you can use to provide information for required statutory reports. By using user-defined rows and columns, you can decide which data you want to compare and how. This means that you can create as many customized financial statements as you want without using Report Designer. You can also choose to use a predefined column layout for any account schedule. You can use the search function to pull up the account schedule, or you can access it through the advanced finance module. Here's your list of account schedules. To view each schedule, select the name and click overview from the ribbon. You have the ability to view this list by day, week, month, quarter, year, and accounting period. For example, let us view the schedule by month, then quarter, then year. Notice that the data in the table adjusts accordingly. Also, filtering column layout name allows you to view the list by actual budget comparison, balance only, budget analysis, comparison month year, standard column layout, key cash flow ratio, periods definition for mini charts, period and year to date, period and year to date with percentage of total revenue, and this year to date versus prior year to date. In this example, we are currently filtering by budget analysis, where we can see net changes budgeted amounts and variation percentage. Let's change the column layout name to actual budget comparison. This allows us to view the variance between net change and budgeted amount through a figure as opposed to a percentage. Within this page, filtering the account schedule name allows us to view various account schedules with the click of a button. If you click on the ellipses, you can choose a schedule you wish to view. For example, if you select campaign analysis, you will view a breakdown of sales, purchases, and trading margins for domestic, miscellaneous, and exporting. You can furthermore export documents to Excel through clicking the Export to Excel function in the ribbon. And here is the account schedule in Excel. Dimension filters specifies a filter for dimension values within a dimension. Here's an example of a sales campaign dimension filter. So we have summer and winter. And here's an example of an area filter. I'm going to choose North America. Before you set up dimensions, you should determine what financial information must be generated and what dimensions must be placed on the general ledger entries. So here are some dimensions that have been created in the system. Here's an example of a customer group. So you can add like large, medium, private, etc. And that concludes an overview of account schedules in Dynamic Snap. Thanks for watching.